old couples go through ups and downs and it's important to remember that there's a big difference between going through a bad patch and actually having a bad relationship. If you think you're going to say something and you think you might get a really negative reaction, that's a good thing to sort of bite your tongue then you think why are you going to say it. Ending a relationship is a, a big decision um, in it, it's the beginning of a long and often painful process. Um, some people use the threat of lawyers and leaving a relationship um, without really meaning it and that's not something that is to be recommended. You go through problems but sometimes you know I think people maybe split up a bit too soon when you really need to sort, sort things out and stay together. There are several key elements that make to be a successful relationship and you can look at each of these different elements to see which in your relationship needs to be tweaked. It's very important to do this at a time when you're not feeling upset or angry so obviously not straight after a blazing row with your partner. It can be quite hard because obviously when the children are younger it's very demanding on parents having time that's actually yours and then energy to do something positive with it. Um, but that is also that is about making a commitment with the person you're in a relationship with that is slightly outside of children. If they do still make you feel secure then try and think about the ways in which they do that and the ways that you do that for them. If it's not there anymore you need to start thinking about ways that you might work on that, try and make each other feel more secure. You need to start thinking about times when you've been able to reassure each other. How does your partner reassure you? How do they make you feel better? And equally, you know, how do you try and reassure your partner? What things do you do to try and make them feel better? If you feel that's missing, you need to start thinking about how you might get that back. You can't be arguing and you can't be um, having, even, even if you're not speaking, it's a bad atmosphere for the children. Communication is a very important part of feeling that you're still engaged with your relationship and connected to your partner. Whether you actually still talk to them about the things that matter to you is a very important part of working out how the relationship's going and it's an important thing to try and keep, keep going if you can. You need to ask yourself, how do I rely on my partner? How does my partner rely on me? It's particularly important when you have children feeling that your partner's there for you, that they're reliable, that the decisions you make about how you bring up your children you make together. I think it's just about getting a healthy balance. You know, I think if there are time for one another, then it becomes animosity between you and yeah, it's just getting a healthy balance between work, children and family life. It's essential that you feel cared for in a relationship and also that you can give care. If it's not something that's happening as often as you'd like and you're not getting the feeling from it that you used to, then it's something that needs addressing. Do you have the same goals in life? Do you have the same, some of the same interests? Can you, can you share things you're passionate about, even if your partner might have very different interests as well? All these things contribute to a sense of togetherness. If you are serious about separating, or well, there's lots of arguments going on, it's really important to remember that there's children listening and watching to everything that's going on and that it's really important that you protect the children from these adult issues. You can tell like there's a presence in the house like if something's not right even if there's not shouting and screaming like hmm. children know and it affects you like emotionally. I think your parents relationship yeah. always has effects on your relationship yeah. and how you see other people. Although you may feel that you know everything there is to know about your partner you'd be surprised. When you started this relationship you expected it to be forever you perhaps didn't expect that there'd be difficulties. But if you think back to how strongly you wanted to be together forever, it's worth the investment of time and effort now.